This is not a ghost story is creepy young adult novel by Andrea Ports follows Daffodil Franklin, who recently graduated from secondary school with plans to get away from her smothering modest community life in Nebraska for college on the East Coast. Issue is however, educational cost is too much, and cash is something she doesn't have. Luckily, she gets a new job as house-sitting for an affluent couple who will be away from their mansion for the mid-year. It's the ideal situation for a student getting ready for their freshman year, quiet, with insignificant obligations, and well-paying. Daffodil would be at the house alone, however a construction group would likewise be on the premises during the weekdays, dealing with a renovation project. At the beginning, everything goes as expected. The laborers out back can be noisy, however generally things are serene. Nonetheless, as the late spring advances, unusual things start to occur at the house. At the point when dusks, and Daffodil is all by herself, she isn't sure if the spooky sights and sounds are truly there or simply in her creative mind. While the novel surely had a lot of qualities in support of its, it had in excess of a couple of hiccups too, it's simply that none of its shortcomings were sufficient to prevent me from ending up it in record time, for at no point did I not feel totally enchanted. For sure, the story unquestionably had an environment and frightening vibes making it work. A lot of unusual and terrifying things happen to Daffodil, regardless of the fact a lot of these occurrences are less about the in-your-face components of traditional horror. Or maybe, it's more about the distrustfulness initiating fear and the unnerving vulnerability of the chance of losing one's mind. But on the other hand here's the place where the breaks in the plot will begin to show. Story our flashback to Daffodil's time in secondary school, where we will get familiar with her and a former boyfriend named Xander. Not only do these segments divert from the current storyline, they likewise presented a large group of new issues, including a couple of irritating tropes. The ending was also quite predictable. But then, for every one of its imperfections, I actually had a good time with the story. Like I stated, they weren't sufficient to influence my overall enjoyment, and I think part of the purpose behind that is the novel's moderately short length, which additionally moved along pretty quickly. Length.